Okay, in the morning session we learnt different formulas of integration. And among the list of the formulas that we have learnt, the first one is the power rule. Call this as power rule of integration. Power rule of integration, which states that integral x to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus the constant of integration c and this formula is not applicable for n <coughs> equal to minus 1 it is not applicable for n equal to minus 1 n not equal to minus 1 this formula is called power rule of integration now in this class now I want to discuss more about the power rule and its application for various types of situations okay you observe that x is algebraic x the given function f of x which is x which is purely an algebraic function it could be something like 2x plus 1 or 5x square plus 8x plus 6 or cube root of x square plus 1 whatever it is we are not bringing any trigonometric function here x is algebraic then function raised to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c simply to say integral x square dx will be x to the power of 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus c so this gives the answer as x cube by 3 plus c I take x to the power of minus 5 dx you know minus 5 is a negative integer here 2 plus 2 positive here n is negative but n is not equal to negative 1 it is equal to negative 5 it is applicable x to the power of minus 5 plus 1 divided by minus 5 plus 1 that is x to the power of minus 4 divided by minus 4 okay if you have root x dx again you can write it as this is integral x to the power of half dx that is x to the power of half plus 1 by half plus 1 plus c that is x to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 plus c because half plus 1 you add half to 1 becomes 1 and a half 1 and a half means how much 1 and a half means it is 3 over 2 or you can also write this as 2 by 3 into x to the power of 3 by 2 plus c after further simplification now if it is 1 by root x then you can write this as x to the power of minus half dx you note that x to the power of minus half is valid it is invalid only for n equal to minus 1 it is valid for all other values excepting minus 1 including minus half so this becomes according to the formula here n is minus half so <coughs> This is x to the power of minus half plus 1, minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1. So it is x to the power of, you have to subtract half from 1. If you take out half from 1, you are left with another half, that is half by half. Or it is 2x to the power of half or 2 into root x plus c. That is the answer of integration. Or if you have some <coughs> functions like integration of 1 over cube root of x squared dx. This is 1 over x squared to the power of 1 by 3 dx. Cube root of x squared means x squared to the power of 1 by 3. That is integral 1 over now you there is 2 by 1 this is 1 by 3 so when you multiply x to the power of 2 by 3 dx 2 by 1 into 1 by 3 a to the power of m to the power of n is a to the power of m n you multiply 2 n into 1 by 3 that is 2 by 3 or this is integration of x to the power of minus 2 by 3 dx now you can apply power rule by taking n equals minus 2 by 3 so this gives x to the power of minus 2 by 3 plus 1 divided by minus 2 by 3 plus 1 
plus C and simplify this and keep the answer. So remember the integration of the power rule which is used in all cases excepting n is equal to minus 1. Okay? So now we will see how we can consider the next set of formulas.